second episode of our series called 10, 10 minutes, minutes With, where we talk to and interview some of our friends about their course and their experiences at the University of Birmingham. Make sure you guys check out the previous episode, 10 Minutes With a Criminology Student, that will be linked in the description. Without further ado, make sure you guys like, comment and subscribe. And for today's episode, we have 10 Minutes With a Law Student. Okay, so we're here with Sharia. Hi. Do you want to introduce yourself, tell us your course, um, what year you're in? And hey, I'm Sher or Sharia. I'm a third year law student. Um, from Wales. So. <laughs> from How Wales. do we know each other? Um, we are actually a part of the Birmingham Piss Cats. Yeah. So. so we know show through cheer, um, three years together. And yeah. It's so sad. It's We're ending. all graduating this year. Yeah. So Sherry's going to tell us her experience of being a law student and UOB in general. Why did you choose to study law? And when you were applying, did you have any like career aspects in mind? Like, did you want to be a lawyer? Yeah. So like, I always knew that I wanted to be a lawyer. I don't actually know why. I, it was just like, I'm going to be a lawyer. So I kind of stuck with that. Yeah. And I just knew that it's something that was hard, but I felt it was something that lots of people, no matter what your skills, you could, if you worked hard, you'd probably be able to do it. Whereas yeah. like maths or something, I feel like it doesn't matter how hard you try. If you're bad at maths, you're always going to be bad at maths. You have to have that, that natural talent. Yeah. So I wanted something that I felt I could like work at and get better at. So I thought law would be a good one. Mm -hmm. And obviously like good aspirations of potentially making a lot of money. And yeah. I want to make a lot of money. So yeah. <laughs> Why did you choose University of Birmingham compared to any other university? Because you came from Wales. Yeah. So why did you think, I want to come to Birmingham? So there was like a few things that came into my mind when I was trying to decide. Firstly, there was distance. I didn't want to be too close to home where it would make me just retreat home all the time because I'm a bit of a home bird. But I didn't want to go far, too far where like I couldn't go home if I yeah. needed to. So I, this was the furthest I was willing to go, like two hour really? drive. Yeah, I, I physically would not have gone further. I think my mum would have had a panic attack as well. <laughs> I came here on my open day, I remember it like a test day, it was like June and the yeah. sun was shining <laughs> and it was the just, campus was looking, campus was looking yeah. good, there was food trucks everywhere, there was music playing and it felt like Zoe 101, like I remember <laughs> it on my group <laughs> chat and I was it's like, this, yeah, like this yeah, is giving Zoe 101 mm -hmm. and I was like, oh, I just really like it here, like the vibes are nice. So this was the one that I could see myself at and I knew, heard about the nightlife because I wanted one which was very much academically yeah, like yeah. Russell Group yeah Russell I wanted to prestige this university whilst also having as much fun yeah, as yeah. I would in a bit more of a relaxed uni mm -hmm. Birmingham just seemed like a good fit and thank god it has been <laughs> looking at the three years so from first year your favourite module or like aspects of um, law and your least favourite module um I would definitely say family law has probably been my favourite and okay. um, I think everyone who would do family law would like it because I think everyone knows someone who's divorced or okay. like anything least favourite um, so many. No, I'm joking. <laughs> um, well, like, there's always contract law. It's quite dry. You get no sort of personal interpretation of anything. It's quite mm. just like, these are the things, learn it, do it. There's also ones which are quite vague, like legal communications, which isn't a real part of law, which you could do outside of university. It's okay. more a skills based module. Looking back, is your course what you expected it to be? Easier, harder? Like, is it what, what you, you expected? expected? Yeah. I'd say it's definitely. I say this, I haven't even graduated yet. <laughs> I'd say it's easier than I thought it was going to be, but not because of what I thought it was going to be, from what people made me scared yeah, about yeah, before I came to uni. I, I think a lot of people before uni underestimated me and they were like, you're doing law? Like, are you sure? And I was like, oh. Really? Like, yeah, like, not because I'm stupid. I, I guess just, other people see it as quite a serious, like... Yeah, like, okay. you need... I don't think they see me, who is the type of person who likes to be social and likes yeah, to spend time with yeah. their friends and have fun and stuff, as what they have in their head is a common perception of a law student who's someone who's always in the library yeah. and doesn't have a life. But I just think if you get that balance, right, like I've done cheer, yeah. I go on nights out like three times a week and I'm <laughs> still like on a 2-1. Like, I think it was fun. really hard working. Yeah. I think it's more... I have to be on it with how I'm dividing my time. Mm -hmm. So I'm not working, like you guys are in the library way more than me, but it's just when I'm actually doing my work, I feel like I have to really just get it done. Yeah. But I would much rather do that because I feel like I've got a nice like life balance mm -hmm. and I wouldn't change it. Cause I'm sure I could have probably be averaging on a face if I wasn't going on nights out and I didn't do cheer, but yeah. I don't wanna, you know, I'd rather yeah. have wanna look back and have good memories. Yeah. yeah. What was first year like for you? And like, what was the transition from, did you go to a sixth form? Yeah. Sixth form to first year and then also first year moving into second, third year. It was quite an interesting, interesting one for me because I didn't do law at sixth form. Mm. Um, I just didn't really see the point. So I didn't really know what to expect or what to come into. And then obviously we had COVID, so yeah. it was a bit different. I just think 
first year person, I didn't understand what was best for me learning wise. Like, because it was figure new. It out, so yeah, actually. like now I know now. Now I know how I like to tackle things like my lectures things. I was writing my lectures by hand. <laughs> Same. I had all of the notebooks. Yeah. Kind of the beginning. yeah, and I look back and I'm just like, what the hell? And I, I was working so much more because I wasn't doing it time effectively. Yeah. I was working from like nine to six, Monday to Friday, just in my room, and I'm like, you're working hard, not smart. Yeah, literally working hard, not smart. It was the first year models are a lot easier than the second and third year okay. for obvious reasons yeah. so it wasn't that I found out of my depth it was more the time wise I found out of my depth but that wasn't because of my course that was because of me because okay. I wasn't thinking about what was clever with my own time like, it was definitely just writing it by hand but yeah first year it's fine the jump wasn't that bad I think they make it so it isn't that intimidating mm -hmm. what is one thing people don't expect about your course that you think they should know I think one thing that surprised me anyway is how independent it is. Like, obviously, everyone gets told before uni, it's very independent, you've got, yeah. got to do your own thing. But when I compare it to other courses that my friends do, we never get feedback on anything, really. Okay. If I have a formative, it's normally generic feedback that's to do with the whole cohort. Yeah. I'm never really... This is not dissing the uni, this is just <laughs> how it is. No, but this is good for people to kind of... Just know what you're getting yeah, into. Yeah. I never really speak to anyone. I couldn't tell you, like, the names of really anyone on... Oh, of course. Yeah. Not of my friends, of, like, lectures and things. Okay. Like, it's just very independent. If you are someone who needs lots of encouragement and lots of feedback and stuff, I just don't think it's your sort of course. I think you just need to kind of be an independent learner. And with me anyway, all of, I didn't expect to see that my exams are always 100% of my module grade. So, Ooh. like, like <laughs> really? I think, yeah. So just, that's your one chance and yeah. that's it? Yeah, so, well, th for this year, for like, which is a change, one of my modules that I've got coming up, it's coursework, which I hardly ever have. So I have, like, two pieces of coursework, but then my other two modules, it's always 100% exam. So, like, I, I, whereas, like, you guys would have assignments all yeah, type of the year, yeah. that's why I also think I don't need to work as hard as much during the year, that's why I can go out as much. So I don't have anything to give in, but it's then that last Push. few weeks of term is the worst mm -hmm. few weeks ever because... Is like you know, there's no saving yourself. Like if I do yeah. bad in this, I think I'm accustomed to it, and it almost works for me though because it's like less work, and then when it is work, you just gotta smash it. Yeah. And I think the pressure does work. But you know me, like I'm up for about four eight hours at a time with no sleep. <laughs> it's rough. If you feel that you're someone who needs a lot of help, if you're quite a dependent person, I wouldn't do it personally. Okay. Okay. I only feel like it's hard when you see everyone else getting these things mm -hmm. from like dis supervisors or whatever yeah. or like and it, you almost feel jealous like oh I wish I could get some of that mm. but it's because the course is so big um, the lecturers and stuff they can't afford to be That's like true. giving everyone all these That's tips true. and stuff because it just wouldn't work out fairly in the end so I understand why so have you ever got, like gone out of your way to speak to a lecturer like emailed them about stuff Did never emailed a lecturer ever in my life um wow. sometimes if i have like a quick question i will stop after a seminar because i really need something i can ask and they don't get me wrong they never be like no mm. it's just there's not sat opportunities for feedback you have to seek them because yeah. i feel like we have very structured like q a sessions like Dropping sessions on Zoom. I say that they do have office hours and stuff. Yeah. Maybe I should rephrase it. <laughs> I, I don't use these things. And lots of my friends, like on psychology, they'll constantly be emailing their yeah. dear supervisors or whatever. I I'll constantly be emailing people, and I'm like, who are you talking to? Like, I don't. I never speak to anyone. I'm just doing my thing. Yeah. If it's wrong, yeah. God's, <laughs> God's the only one helping me because I actually don't know. Is your day to day life like so? Your contact hours. You I've got a lot of contact hours compared yeah. to other things. So I have three hours of seminar a week, one per module. Then I have three hours of lectures per module per week. So I have twelve hours of contact hours a week. So I feel like I'm constantly um, on campus. You just need to be organised to do this course. It's not hard. You just need to know what's going on. I just think it's all about how you prep your time. What are some of the best memories you've made at UOB? So aside from your course, course, what's some of the best memories you've made? Uh, it's just like, you just got to say cheer. Have you? <laughs> it's just been the best experience ever. Like anyone who's even slightly thinking about trying out for cheer, whether you've done it before or not, my biggest advice is just do it. To be a certain type of person, I think, to even have the courage to try out for cheer. Yeah. Yeah. And you just meet so many like-minded people who are all just so kind. And especially if you struggle with making friends, like not that I did, but I know there are lots of people who would. Mm -hmm. It's such a 
everyone's in the same boat, everyone's new. Yeah. It makes uni a lot less scary because at least you know well, at least I've got the cheer. Yeah. Girls or I say to people, when I'm stressed about uni, it's nice to have something else to stress about. Yeah. I think for me personally, I was really lucky with the flat I had in first year. Like, I've lived with the same people for my entire three years. And she just, like, they're like my family. Like, I love them so, so do you much. feel like you've made friends for life? Oh, yeah. Like, I think I've had a really, really blessed uni experience. Like, I couldn't, I don't have one single bad thing to say. Like, everyone knows if it was up to me, I'd be here for another 10 years. Yeah, same. I don't want to leave. And top tips for anyone starting uni in September? The key is to come in with not too many expectations. I was scared to come to uni because I'm a home bird. Whereas lots of my friends were really excited. They were like, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, I'm going to do that. Mm. And then I got here and they almost felt overwhelmed. Whereas I think if you just go with the flow, don't be like, I want to have this sort of friends. I want to do this. Like, come in, see how it goes. Enjoy it. Like, don't stress too much. I think obviously you're here to get a degree. And that's fine, as we all are. But there's so much more about uni than your degree. Yeah. And that's not me just prioritizing the wrong things like you get so much out of it and it's such a short time like it actually goes like that like I think if you can just really invest in your friendships and trying to find like the type of people you'd like in your life long term join yeah. a sport even if you hate sports join a sport <laughs> or society oh, yeah, yeah society like, like this so embrace every opportunity you can get especially in first and second year mm. freshers week You've, everyone's nervous, everyone's going to be anxious and everyone's going to want to do stuff. Like, I was so nervous, but I remember just thinking I'd rather go over these nerves and just push myself yeah. out than remain feeling how I felt. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and everyone's nervous, so don't be like scared to make friends because we're all scared to make friends. So. Oh, that's really good advice. Yeah. Oh, thanks, Is there anyone you want to shout out who may be watching? Um... <laughs> Just gonna shout out my mum, Wendy. I know you're out there. Hi, Wendy. She's a big fan. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. She can get solo chat out. <laughs> okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed this um, second episode. Thanks yeah. for all your advice. Yeah, really thanks for having me. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs> 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 that was good.